You can't have a good experience of being ill, but you can have a good experience of being cared for. And what I want is an experience that patients have that says, people listened, they took notice of what I was saying, they looked after me well, they challenged me where I needed to be challenged, but they helped me through the process so that I was able to come out at the other end feeling better or managing my long-term condition better. The care of patients and really making sure that patients are looked after properly isn't just about what you do face to face with them, it's about working in behind the scenes to improve the way the care is organised. We get the best from the system when the GPs, nurses and allied health professionals work with managers to develop systems and processes that have the patient right at the centre of them. And for me, clinical commissioning groups are a godsend. One of the priorities we identified right at the beginning was that mental health needed our attention. So there we started then to talk to GPs, to other health professionals, and to patients, users of the services, and to their carers. We created something new, which is an overarching community wellbeing service. So that, as a single point of access for professionals, it would be a place that wouldn't say, no, not us, it's them over there. They'd say, yes, this is our issue, we will take it on, we'll assess this, we will advise you about this, but we'll equally then send them on to the treatment modalities that they need to improve and then we will facilitate their return to general practice with easy and quick access back to specialist services if they need advice. And that service has now been tendered, we've got that in place and we're now going on to transform all of our uh, specialist mental health services that are delivered within the community so that they begin to hang together much more effectively. There are five commissioning groups working together to join up their commissioning intentions with the trust that provides our services so that we have a coherent approach to mental health, not only within one area, but across the whole of South West London. I think these reforms are some of the most significant we've had in the past 20 years. For the first time, this is an opportunity for us to change the face of healthcare across the country and for our localities because it's bringing together localism and a national service. And I think that's an opportunity we shouldn't miss.